within the Learning Management System of Google Classroom. When on the Classwork tab, this is where all classwork, materials, assignments, activities, anything for students to access is listed here. In order to maintain a structured and organized classwork, ensuring that each thing posted is accessible and easily found by students, it is strongly recommended that topics are created and utilized here. Think of a topic as a subfolder or subcategory. For example, on the classwork tab of my Google Classroom class, you will see here in these bold blue options are my topics or subcategories in which my work is better organized. This makes each thing posted easily accessible by my students. In order to create these individual topics, on your classwork tab, you can click the plus sign create option here. The last available option is topic. Here you will be required to give your topic a title. For this example, I will use practice items as my title and then click add. You will notice that your newly created topic is at the very top of your classwork page. In order to reorder these topics, you can either simply click and drag the topic, placing it where you would like, or you may utilize the three dots in the upper right corner to move up or down as well. Additionally, the three dot option in the upper right corner of each topic may be used to rename the topic, delete the topic, or even copy it to use it again, perhaps in a different Google class. Again, topics are great for organizing and making things accessible for your students. Also, when you do create either an assignment, a question, quiz, or material, you are given the option to decide which topic that particular activity is placed under. For example, if I were creating a new material, you'll find here over in the right hand side of my material creation screen, the subcategory of topic. Here I am getting all of the topics that I currently have in this class. I can also choose the create topic option to create a topic for this material that is not yet on my classwork. Again, this is able to identify exactly where this activity, in this case material, will be located for my students to find. 